Karen in the Lake Stamper here in Grand Blanc, Michigan. And oh my goodness, it's cold over here. It's only 23 <laughs> degrees. I know, right? So, and I should be used to it by now. <laughs> so it's so cold, I thought, well, why not do something even colder? Ice cream, right? Uh, sweet ice cream. And I thought, let's play around with that. We're still doing celebration, so if you spend $50, you get something for free, either designer paper or a stamp set. So I'll have the links listed below, and if you like what you see, smash that subscribe button. If you like it even more, do it twice. <laughs> All the time. Notifications. Yay. So, okay, let's um, let's do this. I want to do something fun today um, with our snow, or our little, little snow cones. So... Um, this is what I've been doing with the gold leaf and I've had such a great time with the lamination. I'm going to show you how to do that um, as well and show you that here's my little ice cream. I know with all the little gold leafing it's all laminated and isn't that just gorgeous? I just love that. So what I'm going to show you today is um, I'm going to show you how to do the gold leafing. So here's our gold leafing which I love. I know. I love it. And here is our pouch for a laminator. So the first things first, you need a laminator. Get it nice and hot. And I want you to get uh, two pieces of paper. Look, we're going to use Whisper White. I've got a lot of it still. So let's use that. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to open up this pouch. All right. So to open up the pouch, and you'll see it on my, you, you can see it right here. This is the pouch part. And then I'm going to open this up, my little gold leafing, get myself my tweezers and be careful here. Now, I'm going to, I'll, I'll use my tweezers when I actually need them, but right now I'm just going to take a group of the gold leafing, all right? And what I want to do is I want to sprinkle this all over my pouch on the bottom part here okay but I don't want them all glopped together I just want them or clumped together I just want them all separate okay um, and then so that's why you can pick this up and then you can start just kneading it with your hand and you'll see that they get tinier and tinier okay and use your tweezers to get one back on track and You'll just start smushing this. Isn't this great? Take the bigger pieces that you see and just start letting them sprinkle all over. It's a lot of fun. You know, you've got to find some really fun ways to use your um, gold leafing or whatever colors you have. I've had silver leafing and gold leafing um, and really have some fun with it, you know. So I think that looks like a good amount. And let's just do one more. Make sure it gets really clumped up. Okay. Now take your paper. doesn't matter what size it is. I just happen to um, uh, do an 8.5 by 11, and I just cut it down the middle at 5.5. So I'm just going to put the first one on top of that group that we just did. All right? So that's nice and on top of the first set of gold leaves. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your second piece of paper and you're going to put that right on top of the first one you just laid down, okay? The reason for that is you don't want to have your paper laminated on both sides. And it's really cool when, when this comes to fruition here, and, I, and I'll show you. So again, do the same thing again. Because then when you... When you only have one side laminated, it's easier for the die cut machine to die cut right through. So that's why we're only doing one side. But we're getting more bang for our buck because we're having two pieces of paper um, with our gold leafing on it. So see? So this one has a little bit bigger pieces on it. So I'm just going to take those bigger pieces and I'm just using my hands to kind of knead it and to get the clumps out and you can have some clumpiness if you want <laughs> just don't blow on it like I just did that would be bad 
um, there we go, there. And then take your tweezers. If you see one that's on its all by himself, get them back on that, back on that paper, see? Perfect. Okay. Now I, I see some that are right here. They're already on the pouch, so I'm just going to slowly shut this. There we go. And look, look at that. I'm going to smush these in so they kind of stay put. The pouch is all ready to go through the laminator. See that? Look at that. And see, it's on the other side as well. So now we're just going to laminate. All right. And we're ready to rock and roll here. All right. I'll let this go through and I'll be right back. Look how pretty this came out. Look at that. Both sides laminated. Now, either use your trimmer or your scissors and then cut away on all four sides. I've already done that. All right. So what happens is you're left with nothing inside. Super. But now you've got two laminations already done. Isn't that great? So this is ready to rock and roll. And what I'm going to do is the Stitch So Sweetly dies. I'm going to cut this up and I'll be right back. Okay, look at this. All nice and cut out. We still have more we can use and we're going to save this because we're going to use this for some ice cream. We still have another set if we want to make uh, some more of these nice labels or if you want to put uh, use this with your die cuts for your wording. Okay, if you've got any alphabets or anything like that, you can use that. So we're going to put that to the side. Um, and see, I made a smaller one. <laughs> so now we're going to build our ice cream. All right, I think that's important. Build our ice cream up. Um, the more the merrier. <laughs> so uh, I'm using Bumblebee. All right, so again, an A2 size is all you need. And fold this right down. Get your little bone folder out. Your first cut size here, I'm going to use my popsicles, and it's five and a, uh, five and a quarter times four. All right, nice and just the same, same drill, just a different card. And we'll get my little, oh, I even like this side too. So you can use either side, um, just depends on what kind of um, ice cream. And I think maybe... Oh my goodness, they're both kind of fun, don't you think? Um, gosh, let's see if this goes really well with this way or if it goes this way. I'm going to use my popsicles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, you never know. You've got two really pretty sides and you, you, know, you just want them to kind of make up your mind here, right? Okay, so we're going to just put this right on. Super. And... I'm going to pop this little guy up, but first, let's make some ice cream. <laughs> so you want your ice cream punch, for sure, and you're going to want some ice cream, but not just any ice cream. I want to use this ice cream. Aren't these fun? So you can just find an ice cream that you like. Um, and if you don't want to use the cone, what I usually do is just get to the corner um, and find one that, you know, is going to be just, just right. Um, and you can play around. I'm going to use uh, kind of a, a number of these guys here. We'll just punch out an, a variety. And we're going to have some of them that are punched out with the cones, which I did expect that. But the other one is we're going to punch a couple here, okay? So I'm going to get the ones with a lot of the gold in it. Ooh, look at that one. Look at that. And it punches out. It does punch out. Okay. And then I'm going to go here. But let's cut this off so I can get to it better. because this has a lot of nice gold right here. 
Oh, I like that. Let's cut this part here since there isn't as much gold right there. Nice. Perfect. Okay. So you'll see that we've used a lot of our gold as and our um, pouches here. So I'm very excited because we've got some nice ice cream in gold. <laughs> And what I usually do is before I place this little guy, you know, I like how I want it, I want to play with my ice cream here. And I want them to kind of look like they're going to lean, but they're not quite going to lean, but they might lean. Okay, so we have um, some extra um, ice cream, <laughs> which everybody should always have, right? We have some extra ice cream that we are going to pair with our beautiful uh, gold leafing laminated ice cream and um, I am going to make a four high ice cream cone uh, with ice cream on it so I usually start with the base I want the ice cream cone I want the bottom one to have a little bit more um, straight you know you know how the ice cream is kind of straight in the beginning so I'm going to use because I have two of these I'm going to use this one for the base with the ice cream cone itself with the waffle all right and it looks like it's you know not gonna fall <laughs> depending it, it's all dependent on what you like so this one here I put it on a little bit of a uh, straight and then it starts getting crooked and then it gets straight near the very top but it almost looks like it's gonna fall <laughs> so um, that's that's how I that's how I envision now, I have to tell you, when I was quite young, I would not want to eat ice cream cone because I didn't want to get messy. <laughs> so, and I think I'm still like that today. I'm like, oh, I don't want to get messy. I will have it in a bowl. Um, so, I always did that. Um, so, I'm going to put this one on a little bit of an angle. Okay? So, it looks like it might want to topple, but we know it's not, <laughs> you know, because it's our ice cream, right? But the next one, I'm going to use this really pretty, uh, beautiful greens in this one. And I'm going to put that just to the right. So one was on to the left and one was on the right. Look at that. It's darling. You could stop there if you wanted to. It's up to you. But I thought, let's pile them high, right? Pile them high. So um, I thought, well, let's do one more. And this is the, this is the very top one. So your very top one, you really do want it to, to show off the, the curves of this really pretty ice cream. Okay, so you don't want it to be behind this ice cream. You want to be in front of. Um, I know, it's just ice cream etiquette. <laughs> I just made it up. Okay. Um, again, the first one looks like it's right on that cone. And then the second one, it looks like it's to the right. And then this one's to the left. And this one's trying to straighten out. <laughs> Isn't that gorge? Okay, now that is perfect. So now that we have our ice cream already where we want it, um, I'm going to have some ice cream tonight. That's what, what I'm going to do. Now, I do have the sprinkles that go with it, uh, which are kind of fun. Uh, there's a lot of them, so you definitely want to keep it in this. <laughs> But I'm doing a gold. Um, I know, it's, it's a very expensive ice cream cone. <laughs> very expensive. Okay, um, so let's get uh, our... <laughs> That's me, right? Yep, diamonds and gold. There you go. Girl's best friend. All right, so I'm going to dimensional this, and I will be right back. Okay, I've got my dimensionals on. I got a, a hefty amount on. Um, just so I know it's secure, it'll stay straight. There we go. Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. It looks like flecks of ice cream. And if you have some of the um, leafing that's in the multicolors, this would be even amazing with like purples and some other colors. So um, if you... Uh, have those uh, gold leafings in multicolors, or if you want to mix mix your silver and your gold, that's another idea. I just thought of it. Um, that would be amazing too. It makes your ice cream just pop, I think. So you take your little ice cream, okay? It's a really fun, easy card. It's not hard to do. 
um, and it doesn't take but a second. I mean, once you have all your pieces and you've got your lamination, especially if you've got a laminator and you've got some pouches sitting in the closet, um, get them out and play around. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be just gold leafing. It can be something else that you have. Uh, maybe try glitter, you know. Uh, that might be something uh, fun to do as well. Um, just play around with it. You can't break it. Laminators are about 17 to 20 bucks, and they go up higher, obviously. All right, so let's let's do it. Right in the middle. That's perfect. I'm loving it so far, so good. Now, just for FYI, if you turn these guys upside down, they become a teddy bear. <laughs> So at Christmas time, you can use this uh, punch and you can make some teddy bears. I'm just a little, little, uh, little commercial right there, just in case. There you go, see, cute little guy, I like him. Okay, <laughs> um, I just thought of that. Um, now I made a little bow using our gold, beautiful, um, this is from the Art Floral grouping, this fine art ribbon, okay. Um, you can put this on the on an angle if you like just to give it a little bit more depth um, also I have used uh, used the you're so cool which is kind of cute the happy birthday it, it's darling so that'll be inside the card I want to show you something else this is from the poppy parade and this matches our paper tremendously I mean amazing Look at that. So if you've got some leftover poppy parade and maybe you punched these out a while back and you saved them, look at this. Look how it matches. Look at that. I know. So just a little helpful Heloise right here. <laughs> so since I made this little bow, uh, I am going to put this one on this card. And I already have stamped, and I used the Tasteful Die die Cuts to make this little one. Isn't he cute? And this one is going to go on here. And then I made another Tasteful Dies, um, same, the same sentiment, you're so cool. And I'm going to put it on this one. All right, that'll be perfect. I'm just going to pop both of those up. That will just take a second. And... You've got some cute cards. I I know, these are just so much fun to make. And the bundle is not that that not that much. And the paper, if you buy the whole set, um, you are probably close to 50, and then you get something for free. So remember that. I love that idea. I love free. And let's do this one since I forgot to put it on the first time. All right, and I like a little bit of an angle myself too, you know, it doesn't have to be straight up. Now, let's use some Gilded Gems and let's get this, let's see, I think I want the medium size. I'm just going to sprinkle, as if it was the sprinkles, I'm going to sprinkle just a couple gold because it's a very expensive ice cream cone. <laughs> And I think I'll just put one here. And then I'm gonna put a baby one on my, you're so cool. And let's do one over here. And let's use my, there we go. I always like to, bam. I think these came out pretty darn cute, don't you? Oh my God, these are darling. Oh, I love them. Love them. So, so cute. Love them. Love them. So, there you go. See how quick that was? It didn't take that long to make these darling little cards for either a birthday, a thank you, uh, I was thinking of you, so I ate ice cream too. <laughs> my god I, I, I want my favorite is uh, I like a French vanilla but I love my hot chocolate so with some butterscotch and maybe some uh, peanuts um, let's see what else would I like to have on that 
Ooh, maybe double scoop, but it, I'm gonna do mine in a bowl. <laughs> Hey, I hope you had a great time today making these cards with me. I, I did. I, I learned a lot about ice cream, too. Well, anyway, have a great week, all right? We'll chat soon. Happy crafting. Bye.